so it's been a, a kind of a crazy month in Kansas. Uh, earlier this month, I was told, nope, there's no way they can they can make it for that first weekend of, of NFL betting. And then a week later in the week, I'm told, you know, that or I'm watching the Kansas Racing and Gaming Commission and they pass the regulations kind of getting it through. And the lead commissioner goes, you know what, this is putting us on track to launch by football season. Uh, so sure enough, it goes to the lottery and, and they get their contracts done, their regulations sent to the AG. They come out with a big announcement, as does the governor, saying, hey, September 1, we're launching sports betting. Two hours later, the attorney general office come out, comes out and says, uh, wait, hold on. We've got some problems with your regulations. Uh, the lottery then, you know, promptly says, well, well, we've got this figured out. We'll, we'll be OK. Uh, on Tuesday, the, the, the attorney general did approve the, the final set of regulations from the lottery which continues to put them on track for September 1, uh, which, as you noted, is a soft launch. There is one small uh, hurdle left is the attorney general office does need to still approve the Kansas Racing and Gaming Commission regulations, which are a bit more substantial than the lottery uh, rules. So we'll see how, you know, if they can get that done in a week. All signs kind of point to they will because, you know, I've got sources at both uh, of the state agencies and they're saying, you know, we work with these, we work with the AG all the time. It shouldn't be a problem. So September 1 is shaping up to, to be that soft launch, which again, the lottery, which owns the four casinos, which then contracts out mm -hmm. uh, with different operators like Penn Entertainment. And, and then they sign contracts with the, the sportsbook operators. 